Coming up this week on UB Football Insider, the Bulls go gopher hunting. We'll get you ready for the season opener against Minnesota. We'll introduce you to the man they call T3, quarterback Tyree Jackson, and head coach Lance Leipold goes speeding around Western New York. It is all coming up on UB Football Insider. There's fire in the atmosphere, moving in synergy, this electricity. Every day we work to get stronger. This is how we come together. This is how we fight. We are UB. We Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold, presented by ECMC. My name is Paul Peck, joined by the Bulls head coach. We're here at Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill on Transit Road, Buffalo's original pizzeria. And what a better place, what a better setting to kick off a show that kicks off the season because on Thursday, it all gets started against Minnesota. Lance, you ready? You excited? You fired up? We are. We're excited. It's, it's been a good camp. It, it's been exciting to watch our players develop as we get through it but now it's game week and, and we're excited to get to Minnesota. So training camp is over you're in the regular season mode now with the game coming up on Thursday give me a little bit of an overview and sort of a, a, your thoughts on how the preseason camp went did you achieve the goals that you were looking for? Well I think we achieved our goals and we were able again to get things installed we, we were able to create the competition we look for daily find the depth that we we're looking for but again as you want to get through the non-conference season you're still going to be pushed to 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 see how that continues to develop as we approach the conference season. Well, the season gets started, as I mentioned, on Thursday when the Bulls will travel to Minneapolis, Minnesota to take on the Golden Gophers of Minnesota. It's a 7 o'clock kickoff here in Western New York. You can listen to it on ESPN 1520 and watch it on the Big Ten Network. And what makes this game unusual, maybe more so than a lot of other season openers, is even though you're playing a team you haven't played in a while, they have a new coach who knows you, and you know him because P.J. Fleck, the guy who led Western Michigan to the MAC championship and the Cotton Bowl is now the Golden Gophers head coach. Yes, and it'll be interesting because, you know, uh, you know, after that post-game handshake in Kalamazoo, I thought, uh, you know, it, it was very apparent that P.J. would be a hot commodity, probably be, in, you know, moving up to a Power 5 school. I thought we'd be done with, with, with his, him and his program, so to speak. But it'll be interesting, Paul, because... He brought his offense coordinator with him. So offensively, I think schematically, philosophy-wise, they're going to stay the same. Hired a new defense coordinator, Rob Smith, who is at Arkansas. So again, what type of wrinkles will they have? But again, philosophy is one thing, personnel is another. So when you prepare a scouting report for this game on Thursday, <laughs> do you look at Minnesota from last year to see their personnel? And do you look at Western Michigan from last year and maybe Arkansas to get a sense of what schemes the coaches are going to run? A D all the above okay, Paul it's gotcha. all the above we've watched all those and uh, and that's how you how you try to get you know formulate what that is so many times in a, in a game to start you're going to have to get a feel for what they want to be about and how they're going to try to approach us on, on the other hand you mentioned they they know us they're they're going to know what our personnel from last year and, and and maybe some of the guys that are coming maybe that were redshirted maybe the unknown for them but uh, yeah I guess they would maybe have a little leg up on what we do versus what they're going to do well, well, despite the coaching change, Minnesota is coming off a 9-4 and four season a year ago. They went to the Holiday Bowl. They won the Holiday Bowl. Um, but as is the cycle in college football, um, there's a big opening at the most important position. They have graduated their quarterback. He's in the NFL now. So uh, based on the latest news out of Minneapolis is uh, they, they weren't able to decide on one quarterback. They're going to play two. How do you handle the challenge of figuring out what Connor Rhoda, the senior, and Demery Croft, the sophomore, are all about? Well, again, I, I think it goes back to understanding what their schemes are going to be like and what they're going to, you know, much like we were at this time, a year ago, you know, we lost a, a quarterback who had played a lot of football for us, kind of going to the opener, trying to figure out which one is going to, you know, play in two guys. I think they're they're trying to get the same feel for what they want to be. You know, again, I think when you look at it, 
it's probably still going to go up what's up front for them, and the, and the guy who's going to line up behind that quarterback is probably what they're going to rely on the most. Yeah. So with only one career start at quarterback, they are going to rely on their running game, and they have two really good ones in Rodney Smith, who was over 1,100 yards and 16 touchdowns a year ago, and Shannon Brooks, who averaged just under five yards per right. carry. Yes, two very good backs, very, very explosive. Uh, they complement each other real well, get downhill. Now, again, they've, they're, they're trying to put some things together up front offensively in the line area, but we're, we're going to have to do a great job of, uh, you know, making making tackles count and rallying to the ball, Paul, is going to be a big thing for us because we, we're not going to be able just to continually take guys down with one one person. So rallying to it, get around, and try to force them in the, to long passing situations. Defensively, the Golden Gophers bring back an all Big Ten defensive tackle in Steven Richardson. He's probably their best player on defense. They've got some outstanding linebackers. They've got a defensive back whose name will be familiar to Bills fans, Antoine Winfield Jr., the son of the former Bills first round pick. So there's a couple of interesting names on their defense to watch. Yeah, Richardson is being, you know, maybe one of the best defensive linemen in the Big Ten. He's probably going to be a, a solid draft pick. You know, he's one of those guys that probably doesn't always pass the eyeball test height-wise that a lot of people look at, but he is one of the more productive guys in the Big Ten last year. That'll be a big challenge for our guys up front. Winfield is a very, very talented young man, does a lot of things. Um, again, he's he's one of the, they, they took some other hits in the secondary, but it's all going to start with him, and we've got to be aware of him. Yeah, and because we want to, we, we love our kickers and special teamers around <laughs> here, feel the need to mention that as the Bulls keep this game close, Minnesota does return in Emmett Carpenter, the all-Big yep. Ten kicker from a year ago with pretty good range so that's a part of the game to keep an eye on as well too lance and i have much more to talk about as we get you ready for the season opener on thursday we will be back to talk quarterbacks tyree jackson the focus of our discussion when ub football insider continues we're brought to you by ecmc and we are here at santora's pizza pub and grill Buffalo sports fans, get to UB Stadium this fall for tailgating, live music, and great UB football action. Where else can you see hard hits, thrilling catches, and enjoy live music by national recording acts like Jenna Kramer, Gin Blossoms, Better Than Ezra, and more. Bring the whole family and come cheer on the Bulls this season. For tickets and more information, call 877-UB-THERE or visit ubbulls.com. Welcome back to UB Football Insider. This segment is presented by Seth Q, changing lives every day. Welcome back to UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold. My name is Paul Peck. We are presented by ECMC, and we are here at Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill, Buffalo's original pizzeria. Well, last year, quarterback Tyree Jackson burst on the scene and showed glimpses of his amazing physical talent. At 6'7", 245, he can run and he can throw. Let's introduce you to the man who will take the first snap under center in Thursday's season opener. Tyree Jackson, number three, quarterback of the UB football team. Hawkins in motion out of the backfield. They fake it to him. Quarterback draw up the middle. 35, 30 yard line, 20 yard line, 15, 10, 5. It's a Tyree Jackson touchdown. Record wise, I mean, of course, we didn't do well. We were 2 and 10. But I mean, learning wise, I felt like being out there, just being in the fire, I learned a lot. You know, I went through a lot of hard times last year, but that's part of growing. So I feel like now that that's in the past, that that'll just help me for the future. I think playing quarterback, that's a leadership position. So no matter who's playing at quarterback, you're going to have to be a leader. So I feel like I had to step up and just kind of help lead a little bit more with the team. I love Coach Z. He's been great for our team. I know the guys on offense love him. He's just taught me a lot so far. He's a, he's a great coach. He's always in my ear. He's demanding greatness for myself, just, uh, just not being okay with the completion, just wanting it to be in the right spot every time. Coach Z usually assigned me some assignments to look at. After spring ball, he wanted me to go through and watch every incompletion. He didn't want me to watch the completions. He wanted me to watch the bad plays. So, I mean, just really trying to learn and just make myself the best possible quarterback I can be. Everyone can go in and watch the touchdowns they threw, the great plays they had, but that's not really doing you much service. So just really watching those bad plays, seeing what, what was wrong with your feet, why you, why you threw a bad ball. Like, did someone else mess up? Was it a compounding issue? Like, stuff like that. So then you can prevent that from happening. 
good person, you know, a kid you like to be around, hang out, talk with. Your first reaction is size. You're like, you've seen, you've had some other people who've seen this, be like, dang, that's a big kid. And, and he's not lean, he's 245 pounds, 247 pounds. And the way he runs, you're just being flexible and athletic and can move is, is pretty unique for a kid that tall. So you can go over and play with him once and you can go out there and run it. Or just say, hey, hey, we're gonna make a little adjustment here. And he goes out on the field and does it. So that's pretty unique. Now kids are like this. Some people have to write it down, study it. So he picks stuff up really fast. We've been watching a lot of Drew Brees this year because he's he does a lot of similar plays to what we, we're, we're trying to install in our offense, and his quick game footwork and stuff like that is really good. So we just try to mimic that. We're way different than we were a year ago. I mean, every guy's mindset is the same. We just want to win games. Like at the end of the day, he doesn't care who did good, who did bad. At the end of the day, it's about winning and losing. There's no in between area in football. It's either you win or you lose. You catch or you don't. Like, so we've just been really focused on that. I'll talk to guys on offense. I'll pull guys aside, talk to them. Well, then the offense. I feel like um, I'm a leader. I'll talk to the whole offense. I expect a lot from this year's team. I expect for us to make a run and win a lot of games this season. Well, Lance, I know a lot of Bulls fans, and I'll include myself in that category, are really excited to see what the next steps are going to be from Tyree Jackson. We know he has all the physical talent, but how has he matured um, as a leader, uh, everything else that goes into being a quarterback? How's he better this year? Well, I think one of the things, Paul, that, that goes with, with leadership and, and, and the things that we're talking about is confidence. And confidence sometimes is just understanding and then having success. And he's had both of those now we're, we're ready for him to take that next step of consistency in those. But you can tell he has a better understanding of, of our daily routine. We talk a lot about that. He knows the offense. Jim Zabrowski's done a great job of, of challenging him, yet educating him on some of the smaller, finer points that, that we need from him. And I think we're going to see that as we, uh, as we go through this year. Jim Zabrowski is the Bulls' new quarterbacks coach. They have been joined at the hip, Tyree and Jim, for most of the offseason. And that's a big part of this as well, too. The difference in going into the season as the starter um, allows Tyree to approach the job differently, does it not? Yeah, you know, there's and it's probably something I learned as a head coach, Paul, is that, you know, you want competition, you want that, but sometimes that part about every pass or every decision where it was going, you see a more relaxed Tyree Jackson this year, let alone he's, he's seeing things that he hadn't seen before. Again, experience took place, but it, it's helping him, and I think you're going to see all those things take place as we as we go through this year how will the Bulls offense utilize his physical skills of being able to run and to throw differently this year well we're gonna we're gonna use him in multiple ways you know he's six six plus six seven he's 245 pounds so he is gonna run the ball for us but at the same time we need him healthy but you're gonna see him inside you're gonna see him outside we're gonna we're gonna roll him out any which way because one of the things that'll help keep defenses off balance is not knowing those things changing launch points in the throwing game game and uh, all those things I guess is is going to be part of what we're going to do with him. Yeah all eyes on T3 Tyree Jackson when the season opens on Thursday against Minnesota. When we come back here to Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill we'll continue UB Football Insider. We're going to let Lance loose on an expensive sports car. You're going to want to stick around from that. We're back right after this. Buffalo sports fans, get to UB Stadium this fall for tailgating, live music, and great UB football action. Where else can you see hard hits, thrilling catches, and enjoy live music by national recording acts like Jenna Kramer, Gin Blossoms, Better Than Ezra, and more. Bring the whole family and come cheer on the Bulls this season. For tickets and more information, call 877-UB-THERE or visit ubbulls.com. This segment is presented by Town BMW, the official auto partner of UB Athletics. Welcome back to UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold, presented by ECMC. Town BMW is one of UB Athletics' great partners, and each week they're going to let one of the Bulls coaches loose in a cool new BMW. This week, it's Lance Leipold's turn. <laughs> So th this runs off gas and electric both? That is correct. So it can do electric totally on its own, up to 15 miles, or it will actually use the electric as a torque boost to the engine. 
Luckily, it will actually charge itself, and you can just run it on the three-cylinder turbo that's in the back. Together, it's going to make 356 horsepower and 420 pound-feet of torque. So you're in full electric mode right now? Really? It's not even so quiet. So quiet, and it's so smooth. Yeah, and it's never going to shift gears. It's an electric, so it doesn't have a transmission. Or it's not using one. Wow. That is smooth. And now the engine is turned on because it knows that this is where it's the most efficient. And you said about 15 miles on full electric? About 15 miles on full electric. That's your commuter car. Yeah. Could you imagine driving this, this every day to work? work. <laughs> but it's cool because this is, you know, this is a supercar. Yeah. What does it feel like when you're driving it? Very tame. Yes. Doesn't want to eat you. No. But it's anyone can drive this car. It's, it's kind of cool like that. All right, go ahead, punch it. Well, last year they let me drive the i8. Apparently, they're not letting me anywhere near it again because you got it this year. Yeah, that was a lot of fun, Paul. I don't know what happened there. We'll, we'll try to get both of us next year. <laughs> I brought year. it How back in one piece. Yeah. Trust me. Well, uh, it's that's a pretty cool car. It even. is. It I don't is know how really fast cool. you got that thing up to on uh, Main Street and Transit well, Road. I don't know. But... I don't know if any of our local, you know, police force are watching. So I'm not going to admit where we got it to. But it was a great, like I said, a lot of fun. Yeah, and and again, Town BMW is a great sponsor of UB Athletics. So are the guys here at Santora's and ECMC. Uh, you've been in this game an awful long time. You know that none of it is possible without the support of the community. How much does that rank on your list? Oh, it's critical, Paul, for us. It's very important. It's great to meet the people that are supporting us as well. But, you know, there's there's many things that, that make a program go. And uh, we just want to be a, a great partner with them, a great teammate, as we as I like to say. And hopefully we feel that when, when we build the program that we want to be, they're going to be awful proud to be with us. Right. Did you, uh, did you cruise that I ate over and do some donuts in the parking lot at UB Stadium? <laughs> no, not yet. I'll, I'll do that after, uh, you know, after a big win, maybe a big bowl win. How about something like that? <laughs> maybe right. we'll so snow on the ground. We'll, oh, we'll whatever we go. I like it. I like it. We, this is on, this is recorded. So oh. when it all happens, we're going to hold you to that. So, hey, congratulations on the start of the season. Good luck on Thursday. Uh, excitement to open against a Big Ten team in a big city in a cool stadium. Uh, football's here, right? It, it doesn't get any better. Yeah, it is what what a great way to, to kick it off against uh, against a team that won nine ball games eight for the last five years Big Ten school Big City Big Ten Network it, it's going to be a great and we're excited to get started seven o'clock on Thursday the Bulls open the season at Minnesota you can hear it on ESPN 1520 and as Lance mentioned watch it on the Big Ten Network one more segment to go here on UB Football Insider we are back to Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill right after this. Tenacity, ambition, purpose. Here, it's not just what we do, it's how we do it. For nearly 100 years, ECMC has brought hope and healing to Western New York. I'm living proof and I couldn't be more grateful. Like cancer, we all hope trauma will never happen to us. But when it does, we can rely on ECMC to always be there. I hope you join me to be there for them and help them build their new state-of-the-art trauma center and emergency department. Visit supportecmctrauma.org to help learn how you can support life-saving care. This is UB Football Insider, presented by ECMC, the difference between healthcare and true care. Welcome back to UB Football Insider with Lance Lipo, presented by ECMC. We are here on the beautiful patio at Santora's Pizza Pub and Grill on Transit Road, Buffalo's original pizzeria. Well, earlier this summer, Bulls players Tyree Jackson and Damone Harris had an incredible moment as they got to attend Mid-American Conference Media Day at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. All that NFL history, all that Buffalo history, they got an insider's tour. I'm starstruck right now, I'm starstruck. Oh my God, that's what I see on TV. It's beautiful, man. 
Jim Kelly for the Buffalo people. My hand is up. Sorry, Jim. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Jim. My, my coach in high school told me to do this. That's raw. Ah. Kind of star shot. I feel like a little kid again. Far the goat. Bruce Smith. There he is. The goat. Michigan love right here, Barry Sanders. All he needed was a uh, line. Best quarterback of all time. More talented quarterback is Aaron Rodgers. He's way more talented. Okay. There he is. The UB GOAT. Now he's really there. Well, the college football season actually begins later today. For the Mid-American Conference schools, that will be this coming Thursday and then Saturday. There are some pretty good opening games around the conference, so let's take a trip around the MAC. Well, the Bulls open the season this Thursday night at Minnesota. It's a 7 o'clock Eastern time kickoff on ESPN 1520 and the Big Ten Network. But there are a few other notable MAC games to catch on college football's opening weekend. The Kent State Golden Flashes travel to face the defending national champion Clemson Tigers on Saturday, September 2nd. That kickoff is 12 o'clock on ESPN. The Akron Zips head to State College, Pennsylvania to take on a very good Penn State Nittany Lions on the very same day. You can see that matchup on ABC starting at noon. And coming off a remarkable 2016 season, the defending MAC champions, the Western Michigan Broncos, head all the way to the West Coast to face the Trojans of USC. You can see that game on the Pac-12 network kick off at 5.15 Eastern time on Saturday, September 2nd. Well, thanks for watching UB Football Insider with Lance Leipold. Season opens on Thursday when the Bulls take on Minnesota. And we'll see you next Saturday for a very special day in the life edition of UB Football Insider. From Santoris Pizza Pub and Grill on Transit Road, Buffalo's original pizzeria, go Bulls and horns up. Go Bulls!